Hi, live. folks. Welcome yeah, to the ballpark. Live, live from the ballpark. I'm in Mile Volume 268. JB. Yeah, okay. I have to carry in my own. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... We're really disappointed, and we're super excited. <laughs> Obviously, we're really excited. Uh, it, it seemed like a long day today. Uh, just really excited about the, you know, the three guys we added. Uh, you know, with Boye, um, Kenny Walker, and and uh, Abe. You know, some some real pivotal, pivotal. Yep, you got to get that out. Yeah, Apologize. Yeah. Uh, parts of what we're, we have moving forward here, and uh, you know, Boye. You know, upside as a pass rusher, no question. Had an incredible senior bowl. Kenny, one of the most exciting players in college football this past season. And uh, Abe, you know, just, you know, what started 42 of 42 games. Uh, right tackle, come in and compete there. And, and uh, Wazoo. Yeah, and he's from right down the street, local guy. So, uh, yeah. And uh, Archbishop Murphy High School, which has a phenomenal football program. And for both of you guys, obviously, there's a million re reasons why you take A, but how special is that homecoming part of it? It's really special for Josh Graff, <laughs> our West Coast scout who went to Archbishop Murphy High School. <laughs> no, he was really excited, had a lot of conviction for him all, all throughout the fall and then especially into the spring. And, uh, you know, not just because they went to the same high school and everything, he just had a lot of passion for the player and the person. And, and uh, you know, the, the conviction really rang true with all of us as we built our board and uh, we know he's a competitor and he's going to come in here and, and um, he's, he's excited to, uh, he was excited to get the call and, you know, we messed with him a little bit, but um, yeah, he's, he seemed excited. We're ready to get rolling yeah, with him. It was him. such a natural f opportunity for a kid to play at home, you know, and he, he, he expressed that right off the bat and about the family being close and all that. So it's, it's a good deal. So uh, he'll be as motivated as you can get to, to make this work. Pete, how exciting is just two of these guys to the line, 630 pounds. You've added in two days. That's got to be pretty exciting. 630 pounds. <laughs> I hadn't added nice it up work. like that, but I, I think, you know, the three of the four picks really makes a statement, you know, about about uh, the emphasis of what we'd like to get done and we want to shore things up on the edge. And, and, uh, and you know, with Kenneth coming in, Kenneth's an explosive, exciting running back uh, to add to what we got. And, and uh, um, I, I, you know, it just – it, it rings true. We want to run the football. We want to be good at it. and want to complement our whole football team with, with the way we approach it. And uh, this was an opportunity to do it, and it just fell right. And so uh, these guys will come in blazing, and, and uh, I think it sets the tone for, for camp coming up. Where do you see uh, Boye fitting in? What does he do well? Uh, he's, he's a very versatile football player. He's a fantastic athlete um, with the speed and size that, that he brings. Uh, he can he can work on the edge uh, as a pass rusher is the first thing we like to see him uh, excel at. Uh, he, he's, he's been a guy that's been in coverage and drop too. He's got versatility in that regard. Uh, I, I like him particularly coming forward and getting after the quarterback, um, which that we like to emphasize that as we get started. But he'll he'll be an outside backer, you know, in, in the system and and uh, and a, a outside rush, rusher in the in the four three stuff. So he'll get a really good chance to see where he fits in with that. I think it gives us a, a logical opportunity to create a rotation that we like to create, and we want a lot of guys playing at those spots so they can play at a really high intensity. And, and uh, so, boy, it gives us that shot. So I uh, really like the versatility. John, you mentioned you mentioned his senior bowl performance. What what stood out to you that, that he showed in Mobile that maybe he hadn't done during the uh, Learning a different technique, you know, different techniques. And then, obviously, when you're at the senior bowl uh, level of competition, and uh, just his effort, every every practice he took, to, you could see him taking to the coaching and, and the teaching, and, and he's a really really smart individual, highly highly intelligent and uh, great worker. Uh, yeah, I mean the senior bowl was really really impressive for him. Now he's another guy, uh, very similar to Cross, where you could see him improving throughout the whole season, and then you know the, uh, the senior bowl kind of really, you know, made him. Uh, I think you guys refer to it as fly up people's boards or whatever. You know? Do you like him on the on the tight end side or on the weak side? Both. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll play both sides. Will you start him at one over the other or would be fifty fifty? We're we're not necessarily playing like that all the time. We're playing left and right a lot of the time. The the prospect of potentially having, I guess, two rookies at your two tackle spots, what 
you like that idea or you know having having both those guys step it's in, gonna so. be a challenge it's a challenge that you know and it's a race to get these guys ready to go uh, fortunately um you know both guys have done a lot of playing they've got a lot of football in their background played a lot of snaps for their, for their teams uh which helps us but it is it's certainly you know it's good it's going to call for everybody to fit it together just right we'll really hope that they can stay healthy and stay on the field and, and not miss time uh, and be in really good shape when they get here uh, that's going to be crucial for these guys so that they can you know sustain the, the learning process and, and if they do that then they'll give themselves a chance to compete for playing time and and uh, it's going to be a very competitive camp there's this going to be a really competitive camp and this will be a great spot to watch you know and, and how this develops and um, and we've, we've got some new rushers and we've got some new ta- uh, tackles on the edge. So those battles should be uh, really big time in camp. So uh, we'll look forward to that. We'll be able to speak the same language too. They're coached by the same guy, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cross and, and uh, Abe. Can you kind of take us through your evaluation of Boye and how you kind of saw him? With He didn't play a ton of snaps for them, so yeah. he's kind of more of a, you know, a pass, situational pass rusher guy for him. How did you kind of see him? Yeah, so Kirk. Uh, Kirk Parrish, uh, Trent Kirshner, and myself all were, you know, Kirk went in there several times. Uh, I was in there early, so he was kind of just getting going. And then when you go back and you look at the whole picture, uh, you know, the different situations, but, you know, uh, you know pass rush situations, you know, critical third downs, that sort of thing, you can really see his, his motor and his energy. Uh, but he's, he's one of those guys that's, that uh, is going to do everything right. And so you could kind of see as he, as he went through the season, like, all right, you know, he's kind of getting more and more comfortable, and he's kind of letting it loose. Uh, uh, and he he, uh, you could just really see him improve. So, you know, it's just it was it was it was exciting to see a player, you know, early in the season when you when you when you go in early like that, you're watching a lot of junior film too, and uh, you know, talking to Coach uh, Fleck, you know, uh, you know he he really really spoke highly of. You know the work ethic and the, and the intelligence, and uh, how important um, you know how important the game was to him, and how important it was to, for him to succeed, and he he proved it. You sort of talked about the differences in evaluating offensive <coughs> linemen from different schemes, but from a running back perspective, Kenneth told us today that going to Michigan State and being with more pro style concepts yeah. really allowed him to take off. How much does that play? It helps. It helps to see him run all of the variety of plays. There's a lot of shotgun run uh, that's happening in college football. It's a pretty zone oriented, pretty straightforward. Uh, they had a, an NFL style running game, and they did a little bit of everything. So you were able to see him uh, run, you know, run zone schemes, run uh, gap scheme principles. Um, I know that he, you know, he was real effective in the counter game, and and uh, so they had. It was a really good illustration of a guy being able to blossom with, you know, with the whole variety of the run game, and so. Uh, made sense to us, how, you know, that he really could fit in. How much does his selection have to do with Chris Carson's health? Um, well, I'd say this. Good we, question. Yeah, it's a good question. We, we we picked him because he was on the board. He was up there for us we, we, in a spot that we just couldn't pass him up. Um, but we don't have updates yet on Chris, and and we don't we it, we won't know for some time here um, that we can't predict yet. So there's a little bit of uncertainty that we have to we're waiting on. So uh, well, with the commitment that we have to the run game, we, you know, we want that. Uh, that group of guys really rearing up to, to get this thing hit off from the get-go. And so uh, you know, it's, it felt like a good move. It's going to make it very competitive. And, and like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the theme throughout camp. That particular position, just how important is the depth we've seen over the years? It's just such a physical spot that you need a lot of guys. Yeah, there is no doubt. I mean, it's it's a it's a you know a volatile spot. The guys get banged up, and our, the way our you know, we ask our guys to run, uh, we need rotations, and we like playing multiple guys. We have any problem with that at all? Um, you know, I've said it to you a million times. Now I'm fine about uh, you know going with who's hot, and uh, and but also we got to find a way to keep our guys healthy, and so that's where the rotation is so important, and so we don't overwork them, particularly early in the year, and so we can keep a good momentum building. And you saw later, you know, late. Was it two seasons ago? You know, we we felt like that was the strongest part of our team. We went from four to zero. Yeah. And then yeah, talked uh, beast mode in the coming. Yeah. Day. Was there beast mode? Was there much to a, a temptation with any of the quarterbacks who were still on the board when you guys picked today? Sure. It just things have to time up right, but they didn't. They just didn't time up the that John, way. Sorry. John, did you have any chance to move around at all? Of you kind of never stood this path before. Yeah, I know it's been weird. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, we 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 were talking. To, our guys were talking to people all the way through, 
And it seemed like, you know, some guys were willing to do things and then some people weren't and then nothing really came to uh, fruition. And then there were times where we just didn't want to go back too far. And, uh, you know, there were times where it was too big of a gap for us to, to jump up. So, uh, again, much like uh, quarterbacks, everything, the, the timing has to work out and you have to, you know, have to come to agreement with another team. And uh, there's, a, there's a big process to that. So uh, we want to be really, really careful with these picks and very selective. So, uh, you know, it's not, um, you know, you just don't want to be like willy-nilly and, you know, we have we have we have some specific areas that we want to address, and we addressed three of them today. Yeah, I think it's an illustration that, that we felt good about the position that we're in and the spots that were coming. And you know, as Johnny's working the board, it get fit. You know, so we, we felt fine about where we were. One quarterback has taken through the first 73 picks. That hasn't happened in over 30 years. Were you guys surprised by that at all? Or what do you make of that? I think I talked about it last night. You know, there's a lot of pressure put on these guys, and and uh, I mean it's. You know, I've said this before, the head coach and the quarterback, right, two most important people in the building. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's just you have to – it has to be right. And everybody has to have a comfort level. And I, it, they have everybody has different strengths and different, you know, um, weaknesses, deficiencies. And, and uh, you know, staffs have to be confident that they can help those players out with, with their deficiencies. And there's a ton thrown at, the, thrown at you know, these guys. It's not like – you know, in the old days with Hugh Millen where you could just walk out there and go play football, you know what I mean? Like, you got to, like, know what you're doing, you know what I mean? Right, Hugh? Yeah. Are you saying, yeah, are you okay. saying Hugh didn't know what he was doing? But he play? Hey, Come on, man. Okay. It's been a long it's day, brother. Long. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm an easy target. Um, <laughs> John, you might have another chance next year also, but this is the first time in 45 years that the Seahawks have taken four picks in the top 72 of an NFL draft. From your perspective, how unique was it to have an opportunity to, to get that many guys early on in a draft and potential impact players for this team? Yeah, I mean, we were in a good spot. 40 and 41 were, were really, uh, really important to us. Um, you know, to Ian's question, that's where, you know, we were trying to, are we going up? Are we going down? What are we, what are we getting, you know, what are we doing? And, and we just, you know, decided to, you know, take the 14 minutes and, and uh, make the two selections. But y y y yeah, I mean, the more, <laughs> the more. <laughs> you, we don't want to be picking high, right? We we don't we're not going to pick high for a while, right? Is that okay? Well, Chris, does he Carson, does he need to see more doctor or anything, or is it still a matter of when he gets in contact? It's going through a respond? process here that, of evaluation, and, and uh, there's just there's still more information to be you know dealt with and understood and, and translated for us. We haven't we haven't heard. Any updates to help you with it right now, unfortunately? You mentioned Boye, his ability and coverage. How much more was that looked at this year with more emphasis being on the 3-4 looks? Yeah, it's part of it. It's a big part of the evaluation. He's got to be able to do it. And there's, he, he has the ability to do all of that. Um, he's been involved in coverage enough. Um, I, I really think that the, the thing that and John was alluding to it, that the more they centered in on him coming downhill and rushing, the, the better he looked. And, and that's what we picked up on, too. And, you know, his designated third down snaps and stuff like that, that we evaluated. We felt like he really got comfortable, and he, that carried over to the Senior Bowl as well. Um, but the, the cool thing is he's got the background to, to do the other stuff. And so it is our, our outside linebacker position does call for them to be droppers at times, but primarily we need those guys to be a force coming off the edge. So, uh, you know, he's 6'3 something, he's 260 something, he's four fives, you know, and, and, and he's got a good attitude and a good level of quickness and hand, hand eye stuff that really, you know, can work him in his rushes. So he's, he's a really, he's a unique package and uh, it's the kind of guy we need to help us support this position. So yeah, I agree. We had great insight on him too. Uh, you know, Willie, Willie Schneider is really close with, uh, uh, played with his Io. cousin. Io, who came in for a workout here probably like, I don't know, seven years ago or something yeah, like that back. as a, for our rookie, um, um, you know, mini camp tryout deal. And so we've had really good information coming back from him in terms of just everything, nutrition, uh, work mm -hmm. ethic, all that. Where did they play together? At St. Thomas, University of St. Thomas. Yeah. Thanks for the softball shout out to my alma mater. Tommy's, Tommy's will take it. We are Division One now, by the way. <laughs> they went from Division Three to Division One. We're gonna, get, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned it earlier. I don't know if I heard you right. You said the, the picks you made today like send a statement. I don't know if you were including Cross and the picks uh, 
what's the yeah, I think we took, we took two two offensive linemen and a runner. <laughs> you know, it's I think it's pretty clear that we're just wanting to make sure that we have a uh, all of the elements together so that we can you know be effective running the football to complement the rest of our game. That's all. It's just part of it. If that's not a change in philosophy or approach. It's just an emphasis that we were able to hit on today. That I think. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious to me that I would think you guys would. I didn't mean to have to help you out on that, but uh, I just think it's you know it's a pretty good statement and it's cool. I'm excited about that. With, with Cross yesterday, you said that he's too athletic to worry about the lack of run blocking reps in college translating uh, to the pros. Is that well, the he, same with Abe? That he's just too athletic for you to have to worry. Both about these that? guys, right? Both these guys run under five flat. You know, the four nine guys at 320 something and 300 and. 18 or whatever it is, you know, these guys can move their feet now. And they don't call them sweet feet for nothing, you know. <laughs> He's got he, – uh, both guys are very athletic. We've never been this athletic, at, at, you know, with two guys at the shot, uh, you know, to start. So it's it's exciting to see how that, that translates. And, you know, meanwhile, what that does, it sends the message to our guys how competitive this, this camp is going to be and the guys are going to battle for their spots, Stone and Jake and, and all of our guys. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Abe's a finisher too now. I mean, he's a – yeah. Real, real strong man of faith, but it doesn't look like it when he's playing football. I mean, the guy's a big finisher in the run game. John, similar thing, but when we asked Abe if he's played in a three-point stance, he was like, yeah, I'll field goal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so how, how yeah. are you trying to project him to making that adjustment to, to getting a hand in the ground compared to what he's played in the Yeah, we had a private workout uh, this last week with him. Uh, Josh and uh, Chief flew over there and spent some time with him. and. You know, saw some. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Just had a private workout. How do you guys feel about your quarterback room, and what do you still want to get accomplished there? We're, you know, the, the comp is underway. Um, Gino's come in, and obviously, you know, ahead going in because he's had all of the background with us. He's been here for a number of years, and uh, so he. He, you know, leads the charge right now. You know, in command of our system as much as you know a guy could be, and uh, um, you, you see, you know, Jake had had a year with us, so he's he's doing his part. And, and meanwhile, we're watching, uh, you know, how Drew comes along, and he's going. You know, he's he's busting his tail to catch up and be be right with it. So, um, all of our guys uh, we know are strong arm throwers. These guys, have, they, we will not lack in our the potential of our throwing game, the style of things that we can do. And we've been able to see uh, Drew in. in Great depth. We've seen everything. We went all the way back to all his college days and everything else. Every throw he's ever thrown, you know, to uh, to show us, you know, what what he's capable of doing. So we're fitting it together. Um, it's going to be a really strong, competitive room, and, and we're going to be smart. You know, G uh, Gino knows what he's doing. He knows the game. You know, he's a seasoned veteran. And when he got his chance to get going last year, he showed some some terrific stuff. And and so we know the system can fit and work. So we're really. Uh, uh, off to a, a very good start, just a couple weeks old, you know, into the off season. Uh, we'll get on the field for the first time in phase two uh, this week, and so the coaches will finally get a chance to see the guys live and you know, right up up front. And um, I'm I'm really excited to see that how that's going and how where they're fitting. I know that in the meeting rooms, uh, and uh, that our guys, they're sharp and they're precise and they know it's on. You know, there ain't nobody you know, just kind of just going through the motions here. It's it's a crucial comp and and. Uh, they're they're taking to it and it's serious and man it's great to see. Do you feel like you you want to or need to add somebody to that? Position? We'll see. Well, you know, let's get. get We're always us, looking. Yeah, always looking. Always you, after it. You mentioned that uh, Kenneth Maybe a lot of mileage on the counter. He was on earlier. You said his favorite play is the counter. Uh, obviously, you guys are going to keep your zone schemes and all, but with the acknowledgement of, of that, do you like have conversations? Say, hey, let's let's button up our gap stuff. That maybe the that maybe some of the percentages tilt a little bit. Can can a, can a rookie yeah, have that, that kind of? Um, we already run run the play that he's talking about, you know. So so uh, it's 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 already in the scheme, and it was a very productive scheme for us last year, you know. So um, it calls for your tackles to be mobile, and our guys, are, you know, are that. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not really not asking uh, Kenneth for any suggestions on the scheme right now. <laughs> Just trying to get him in here, uh, but uh, I'm sure um, if I ask him, I'm sure he'll have a couple answers. <laughs> We'll, we'll get to that. Underutilized under in the receiving game, too. The guy can catch the ball and really productive. You mentioned a couple times Drew Locke's strong finish his rookie year there in Denver. What was it about that kind of one-month stretch? I think he, he got comfortable. He got, I mean, in, 
you know, classic, you know, fashion. It takes a while. It's hard. This game's freaking hard uh, on that position. And we have to do everything we can to make it really available for them to play at their best by not overdoing it, not overburdening them. And that's no different with any experienced quarterback, too. You know, you can't go past where they can handle the information and be in total command of it. I think you saw him progress and, and, and make some good statements. And then they, they changed the offense, you know, and they changed the whole the, you know, whole thing. And, and so they kind of had to start over again, which is unfortunate, you know. But um, I don't know if that was had anything to do with it, but we did see him. And there's a, and, and, you know, you, you would like, there's enough stuff on, on him. You can see him do everything. He can throw the ball over the field. He can get, he's got all the movement stuff. He's got all of the downfield stuff. He's got the quick game, uh, the, the play actions, and, and all of the things that, that work to help complement a really good scheme. He, he's done before already, and it's on film. So it's just a matter of making sure that, it, you know, the ball stays in our hands and, and, and our guys do a good job of, you know, understanding how to you know, coordinate with, with the rest of the guys and, and spread the ball around, you know, like, like we want them to and, and be that point guard, you know, type of position for us. So, um, so it's we're, – we're, and we're, this will be great this week. We'll finally start gathering information on the field, and it'll, it'll be much, much more poignant for us and all. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. Come on. Man.